and welcome to The Daily Five at 10, your daily five-ish minute essay update. I'm your host, Jasmine Tran. And I'm Jasmine's friend, Zeke Samoy. Today is Thursday, September 29th. Today's national day is a favorite among us slayers. It's coffee day. Coffee day, mmm. My favorite, mm -mm -mm. Wow, it's already Thursday though, really, huh. This week has been flying by. You know, I was thinking about this recently. How many employee spotlights have we had on the show so far? That's a good question. Mm, I think we've probably had 28 so far, but after today's episode, it'll be 29. Really? 28, 29, that's some quick math. Well, I'm expressly excited for this segment because today's employee spotlight will feature our assistant vice president of data analysis, Kevin Shook. Now let's not waste any more time with our jibber jabber. Without further ado, this is our employee spotlight. So Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks, Zeke. Of course, no problem. Glad you'd be here. Yes. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with this segment, we will be asking Kevin the four main questions. Where are you from? What are you doing? Where are you going? And what is a fun fact about yourself? Sound like a plan? Yes, it does. Thanks, Jasmine. Alrighty then. So first question, where are you from, Kevin? I am from San Lorenzo and basically uh, lived there my whole life. Uh, so yeah, East Bay native here in the Bay Area. Awesome. So have you ever been, I always ask, do you ever, have you ever been to the East Coast? I have not been to the East Coast, unless you count the six hour layover at JFK. Oh yeah, we could if you wanted to. <laughs> do you think you have any ambitions to go over and visit the East Coast, you think? I definitely would love to visit the East Coast because I personally do have a bucket list to travel all 50 states in the US. Really? Are you close to that right now? Or? Not not really close. I've okay. done mostly the Western state. The furthest out east I've been to probably was Texas. Okay, okay. Well, we'll get there eventually, don't you worry. All right, so moving on, second question. What are you doing at the SLA? I am an AVP at the Data Analysis Department. And for those guys who don't know, AVP does not stand for Alien versus Predator. Uh, we were, that's we were all, we were all thinking it. I was thinking it. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so I'm one of the assistant vice president along with Jane Ramirez, and we oversee the department, probably the largest department at the SLA, and we oversee and review all of the surplus line placement in the state of California to make sure that they're in compliance with the Department of Insurance's compliance and uh, regulation. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So what do you like to do outside of work? Outside of work, I have, I guess, two hobbies. I definitely like to uh, take photography, uh, do photography on my own, um, and that goes along with hiking. Because, you know, with the Bay Area, there's so many different trails out here. I've been through, as everyone probably has, Mission Peak. I like Coyote Hills. Um, one little bit closer to me at for home is uh, Lake Chabot. That's one of my favorite spots to walk around and hike around. Yeah, me too, me too. Awesome, yeah, I need to go hiking more. Cause I, you know, I still just moved here previously. So I still <laughs> haven't done, what, what's the, you said, what's the one everyone does now? Mission Peak. Mission, Mission Peak. Peak, okay, yeah. so I gotta, gotta do that. All right, next question. So where are you going? Any future plans or goals, Kevin? Um, as we kind of alluded to a little bit, I'd love to travel. So one of my personal goals is to do 50 states. Mm -hmm. Haven't planned out what state is next yet, but I do um, want to travel internationally still. So I'm kind of mm -hmm. continuing to plan that out for next year to see what would be a good destination. Yeah, absolutely. Where have you been internationally, I guess, before this? Uh, right this summer, I came just came back from Europe. So I was in Amsterdam, Finland, and uh, Sweden. Really? And, and last year I went to Costa Rica. And okay. right before the pandemic, I was in China. Really? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I mean, did you have a good time? Yeah, love love every country I've been to. It's really? an eye-opening experience. Okay, okay. Awesome. Do you, I mean, do you have a, I don't want to say a personal favorite, but is there one that kind of sticks out at all or? When people say that, I don't know why, but Taiwan sticks out to me. Really? Wow. Okay. I, I've only spent a few times. The food is really good, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stinky tofu is a must. Ooh. Oh, okay. I've never tried that. Yes, me too. So lastly, what is a fun fact about yourself? Fun fact about myself, going with the traveling theme, I actually do love to travel by train, oh. and I think it's an underappreciated mode of transportation, just, you know, in the U.S. And, you know, traveling by train is a fun experience because you get to see the land side, you get to talk to and meet with uh, people on the train, a lot of different characters. Uh, but it's, it's really a fun way to travel, and I highly encourage everyone to, when they have a chance to travel by train across yeah. the U.S. That sounds yeah. awesome. I mean, what's the furthest you've been on via train? Unfortunately, the furthest I've been to is probably out to Utah, but okay. I definitely do want to make that trek all the way out to Chicago or New York one That'd day. Be, wow. Does it go all the way from San Francisco or, or Los from, Angeles? From, from Maryville to to uh, Chicago. Really? Wow. Okay, awesome. That is a long train, but that's super cool. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time for today, but thank you so much for coming on to the show, Kevin. But as a token of our appreciation, would you please, Kevin, accept this $50 Visa gift card paper stand-in? Oh wow, can I buy boardwalk with this? If you make a deal with us, absolutely, I think you can. <laughs> we, can right. we can make a deal, yeah, for sure. 
Great. So I hope we hope that we you all had a great time getting to know Kevin. I know we sure did. Thank you again, Kevin, for coming on. And absolutely, you are welcome here anytime. All right. Thank you. <laughs> now it's time for what's going on in the SLA. We have a work anniversary to celebrate. Today marks 19 years that our very own Iona Vincent has been with the SLA. Thank you for all that you do, Iona. As always, we salute you for your service. Our CE course, Flood, W-Y-O, N-F-I-P, Excess, wait, there's more, with Casey Roberts is coming up on October 11th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So please speak with your manager if you would like to attend. And you know what else is coming up? It's the sky. The that's the daily gift away. So Jasmine, what's today's national day? Today's national day is coffee day. And today's winner will receive a $25 gift card to Starbucks. Jasmine, did you know in the 16th century that coffee was almost banned in Italy? What? Why? Because the clergy apparently believed coffee to be satanic. But the Pope at the time took one sip and defined it as very tasty and almost wanted it baptized. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Yep. Learned about it this morning on Wikipedia. But you know what else I'm going to learn today? Today's giveaway winner. So today's winner, and hopefully someone who likes coffee, is Nam Trong. Congratulations. And to the winner, show you go. And don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 at slaycal.com to claim your prize or if you have any comments or questions about the show. Once again, we would like to wish our dear friend Iona a very happy work anniversary. Work anniversary. We're releasing your daily work coffee break. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Zeke. Thank you and good night. You and I, I can see why. I definitely okay. would love to even attend one of those late night shows too in New York. That'd be so yeah. cool. Absolutely. Yes. Okay.